Hi guys, uh, today is uh, March 12, 2020 and this is going to be a time-lapse video of the construction of a 7500 gallon tank which you can see behind me, I started on the base it's going to be 16 feet by 18 feet with a window at an angle about 12 feet, not about, exactly 12 feet long and the pond is gonna be 4 feet deep so I, I got the base down, it's uh, approximately uh, 600, 600 uh, cinder blocks stacked uh, in two layers for better uh, viewability I have put down the plywood and uh, the bottom I was able to score about 21 sheets of acrylic and it's colored uh, violet from Miami for about $1800 and these are the ones, uh, it's about a third of an inch thick a little more than a quarter, a little less than a third And these are the sheets I'm going to use to make the bottom and uh, the sides and of course the viewing window will be transparent just wanted to show you that's what it looks like and it's semi-transparent and they use it for making windshields for boats this was just uh, a surplus of a on a large order that somebody in Miami a manufacturer was offering on Craigslist so I got them there uh, 8 feet by 4 feet as I said by a third of an inch uh, looks pretty sturdy I don't know if it's the same acrylic as usual or uh, something stronger because it's for the windshields but uh, anyhow it's pretty strong and I got 21 sheets for 1800 bucks which is a very very good deal plywood warps as it dries or just lays around so I'm using cinder blocks to weigh it down to have it dry up and lay down flat as flat as I can put up some posts most of them they are 3 by 4 by 8 landscape timbers and I fasten them to the concrete floor I'm using camelongs, which are winches, to r to write up the sides before I brace them. Okay, the wooden box is finished and I'm ready to glue acrylic now so the main structural uh, strength will come from the wood I got the uh, one, two, three, four walls up this is all plywood Then outside of the plywood are the, every foot there are the um, timbers, landscape timbers and uh, so that this uh, two walls are unsupported in the middle so this wall is reinforced with a lot a lot of wooden boards and the same goes for this 
what I call an unsupported uh, wall so that it does not uh, warp, does not bow out under the water pressure. That's the two unsupported walls and the two walls which are called supported they make use of the house walls so as you can see they are to prevent bowing or mitigate bowing they are gonna transfer some of the stress to the to the to the house walls on both sides this is a 16 foot side this one is a 10 foot side The opening is uh, 12 foot long. This side is uh, 8 foot. And this is the longest uh, 18 foot. Again, supported by the uh, house walls as best I could manage. All right, all the timbers are tied to the floor, to the uh, concrete slab and as you see the uh, the top is made with uh, intersecting uh, two by fours hopefully it will hold the main beam here is a six by six the 12 foot long one so that's our major milestone and it's already, uh, we're into September 2020. September 10th is today. So we're ready to start doing the acrylic. I'm ready to do our first acrylic seam. So this is the resin, the uh, part A, the monomer mixture on my scale. So I'm gonna take it, uh, it's kind of a uh, viscous liquid. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna take that and mix it with the part B, which is the catalyst. Uh, in the ratio of uh, 100 to 5. And um, I'm gonna need uh, for this job about 300 milliliters of, of the mixture. And I'm gonna glue these two two and a half inch strips along the along the first seam so I have the vertical pane is meeting the bottom pane and uh, so one of these plates is gonna go on the bottom plate on the bottom uh, piece and the other one's gonna be vertically stacked like this okay so uh, as I see I scuffed up and grinded up both surfaces on all on all sides for better adhesion and better grab so what I'm gonna do is apply the mixture to to these two plates and then glue them and show you the result I'm weighing down the two plates until the glue uh, polymerizes and uh, hardens up Here is the first step of the first uh, joint. Nothing uh, spectacular, nothing to write home about, but uh, hopefully it's functional. We've got two plates, vertical and horizontal, glued together. Next two plates are one and a half inch wide. Again, both uh, for the bottom and for the side. Okay, the narrower plates are in place. As the last step for this seam, we're gonna add a three quarter inch by three quarter inch strip right here to these uh, four plates that we glued in place. The last piece in the is in the place. The three quarters by three quarters. That guy. 
So uh, in the essence, what we've done is created uh, this arrangement in the cross section. So that you see the two walls, and then the two wider plates, plates, the two narrower plates, and the final piece three, three quarters by three quarters. And the red line, the red line is the um, shortest path for the water to escape, which amounts to about two two inches long. So what we have is a an equivalent of a two inch thick seam um, acrylic seam as the last step I poured uh, about half a gallon of uh, acrylic resin over the whole seam over the whole plates so that all the cracks and crevices are filled and uh, it looks much nicer and smoother that way and uh, hopefully stronger. We have a couple of places where uh, I have to overlap the acrylic sheets one on top of the other and uh, I'm using a quarter inch styrofoam uh, sheet insulation which I painted black to fill the gap or the space behind this panel. So this extra panel, the joining panel connecting two big panels, it's gonna go on top of them and then the uh, styrofoam will take up the space behind it. And then you can see the, the height, I mean this is uh, five and a half feet this is going to be the height of the or the depth of the tank so I'm going to be gluing in other pieces right here to bring it up right now it's only about it's four so another foot and a half I need to go up Starting on the upper perimeter. Gluing the first board on top of uh, the bottom board. We got some weights and uh, braces, weighted braces that are pushing on the on the panel to press it against the bottom panel. That's the first one I gotta go around the perimeter. Another uh, five panels like this. Still a lot of work. I'm gonna do my first uh, vertical corner, joining this panel with that other panel. Um, I'm gonna try and do three layers at the same time. So I got six uh, six panels, six boards, I um, or strips rather. I cut and I gotta go in this corner right here. It gives a little, so I'm gonna have to press with the braces and the center blocks. So we're gonna go everything from bottom to the top, most of it in one in one step. Dry run before I glue it. This is how I'm gonna put uh, pressure on the seam. I'm gonna put uh, weights, I mean the cement blocks on each of these. The way I uh, 
have it is that uh, the wood is touching both uh, sets of uh, strips and pushing them up at 45 degrees in hopefully that will work I'm gonna have to use excess glue so that it fills all the crevices going the other corner and also the joint in the flat joint in, in the middle so this is a flat one and that's the other corner of the 16 foot wall section because the main walls are only 3 8 of an inch I'm beefing up the thickness where the, uh, the window will be attached to the walls on both sides so I already uh, glued one more sheet doubling the thickness from this level down and then another half an inch sheet so altogether this is uh, over one inch and this is about uh, close to one inch it will be after I'm done once again this is because the, the window is gonna be pushed by the water water will try to push it out and it will create uh, a lot of stress on this seam and I need I need thicker walls here to make sure it doesn't break Increasing the thickness on the other side of the window. Last time you saw that side. This is the left hand side now. So I'm adding uh, a three quarter inch and a half inch on top of the uh, main liner. to reinforce the bottom for the viewing window panel so I already got one layer down quarter inch this is a second layer quarter inch that I'm about to to glue so this is for the front joining the joining boards so second degree joining because when you join you leave uh, two join bo joining boards meet where the crack is and I don't feel comfortable just with that so I'm gonna cover it all over with another plate to cover up the joint of the joining boards today is February 11th 2021 and at this stage uh, Everything is done except for the front glass. The wooden walls are done and the acrylic liner is glued the sides at the, and the bottom. I've joined uh, everything by about three inches overlap. All the separate panels at least, if not more. So you can see this is uh, 8 by 4 one piece that's the second piece third piece and the fourth piece six seven eight and a few in the middle I also reinforced uh, the sides right here where the front glass is going to be glued to both the sides and the bottom and uh, the front glass will have to be 12 feet wide by uh, 6 feet tall by at least 2 inches thick I have also reinforced the, this, the, the spot over there with the 
additional plate where the plumbing is going to hook into the, drain, the two drain, uh, four inch drain pipes.